Hey guys, what's up and welcome. My name is Hull and today I will be bringing you all along with me to explore the beautiful underwater world of Mordialic. So all of this snorkeling will take place just underneath the Mordialic Pier, which is just so much goodness. Like this was a good trip. Found some groovy things and I think you guys might really enjoy them. But in general, Mordialic is such a trendy town. If you don't know where it is, it's a Bayside suburb. It's about a 30 minute drive to the CBD and then it's like another 30 minutes to the start of the morning to the Peninsula. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds here. So in terms of the B-roll I've got for you today, we're gonna dive straight into the snorkeling. You'll notice in this clip that I have featured a stingray and it was so 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 cool i do believe this is called a common stingray these guys are generally pretty common to find but they can be tricky because they bury themselves in the sand but um yeah it was it was beautiful and the other really cool find that i had was a giant sunflower sea star now this particular breed of sea star is actually one of the biggest in the world. They have an arm span of up to a meter, which is just insane when you think about it. You will notice across all of these clips that there is a lot of sea stars and just all the cool stuff. But without further ado, let's dive right in. No. No. about Mordialic is the esplanade where the beach is is all concreted and this leads right along to the marina. Now I happen to be a fan of rollerblading but if you are a roller skater, skateboarder, scooter person, whatever your interest is, there is plenty of concrete on to roll around with aesthetically pleasing views. In general though, Mordia Lake has so much to offer. It is such a vibrant community all around the pier and the waterfront. When every time I've gone down there, I've seen heaps of fishermen off the pier, spear fishermen, stand up paddle boarders. Night dives are actually really, really common underneath the Mordia Lake pier. So for snorkeling, unfortunately, because it is such a polluted area and the boats come in and out of the marina right next to it it is quite low vision which you would have noticed in the clips it's definitely no great barrier reef but it's still 
still so beautiful but when you're diving and you have a light on you can go much much deeper so that's definitely going on at night time so we're gonna dive now into some b-roll footage of some things to do with hey, morning like i could deny you i could strive but you kiss me to give snorkeling a go it looks like so much fun trust me it is it is so worth it but the biggest 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 part of snorkeling is you have to realize that you're stepping into a very fragile and vulnerable ecosystem meaning you really need to respect the environment and respect the space so while there are so many beautiful animals and things to see while snorkeling and it is so much fun especially in this area it is not uncommon to find seahorses octopus loads of sea stars lots of different fish jellyfish rays and you name it like there is a lot of shallow water creatures that are there but really keep in mind that there are so many dangerous animals out here as well you can potentially come across a blue bottle octopus and they will kill you in about 10 minutes so be really really careful there are also plenty of poisonous fish you would have actually seen a little yellow spotted fish in the footage that i filmed they are actually poisonous so stay away from them plenty of not fatal but dangerous jellyfish around in this area as well as there's plenty of harmless rays but there are those few stingrays that do have the barb and they will inflict a lot of pain should they hit you so be really really cautious respect your environment know what you're walking into be really careful that you don't hit your legs on coral or you don't step onto the ground and accidentally step onto an animal that is going to attack you because of that so just really go slow with it if you're new and you don't know what you're doing. Also, don't touch the wild animals. Don't, don't touch them. I see so many footage of people picking up animals that they shouldn't be touching and it's just not worth it. Not only can we get hurt, but it can make the animals sick, especially if you don't have gloves on. I mean, if you know what you're doing and you know that animal isn't going to get sick, that is a different story, but... In general, if you're starting out, don't touch the animals. Another thing to be really, really aware of is fishermen being on the pier. So make sure you guys swim well, well clear of any fishing hooks because when I've been hooked before and it isn't worth it. Actually, I got hooked by two hooks at the same time because some of us aren't as bright as others. Anyway, when you do go snorkeling, you will actually firsthand experience sort of the pollution and damaging effects that we are causing to our oceans at the moment the water is murky i don't think it was very visible in the footage but i did actually find a lot of rubbish and ropes and everything in hidden crevices while snorkeling which is really sad to kind of see the animals have to readjust their lives to live in amongst all of this debris but yeah you really get to get a full understanding of the implications of our disposable waste systems when it fails and what the effects of this is but in general guys the main part about snorkeling is to have fun one thing we've learned during lockdown is that we can't just go to the great barrier reef and snorkel with groups and tour guides and have all this luxury but we can enjoy what's around us find some really beautiful beaches find some incredible animals and still have a good time if you do want to get started in snorkeling you really don't need much i do recommend a wetsuit but this depends on the individual if you're fine to go out for an hour or so in like bathers and don't get cold 
that's a skill that's a talent of yours but yeah wetsuits are really really handy you can just buy a cheap pair of fins and snorkels and absolutely go for it you do not need fancy gear although just make sure you have something that fits you correctly because there's nothing worse than being out snorkeling and having water coming in through your goggles and then fogging up every three seconds and your flippers falling off because then it makes your life incredibly difficult if you want to have a go, it is not hard to just jump in, have some fun, take your time, bring someone along with you if you're just starting out, taking it slow and just to have some fun. I want to thank you all so, so much for coming along with me today. As you can tell, Mordialic is one of the perfect beginner snorkeling places. There are some really cool things. The water is shallow. It's a relatively safe and protected area. If you did want to catch more of me, please check out my Instagram page. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to catch more content, don't forget to subscribe and check that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. I am now uploading every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, but if you do want to catch the next Travel With Me vlog, I'll see you all next week. Bye guys! Never think